The Jordan 2009 vintage of Cabernet Sauvignon really is a dream vintage. Why is it probably my dream vintage? It's the logical sequence, I think, of, of John George's decision to change the fruit sourcing and try to improve upon that. Not only just to make the best Cabernet of Alexander Valley, but also to make the best Cabernet to compete with the great wines of the world. And to do that was to get the best fruit sourcing we possibly can. And 2009 really shows that. Every aspect of our winemaking now, we look at what can we do to make the very best. And it is, what you're tasting in the 2009 and even future vintages is really a blend of the very best of every aspect of, of everything we could possibly do. Our inspiration from the very beginning we started Jord Winery has always been Bordeaux. But I think the 2009 approaches that more than any other vintage we made today. It's a, a fine play where all the actors are working together in seamless harmony. just a gorgeous, gorgeous wine. When you open this wine, you will get this wonderful blackberry kind of fruit, but you will not get this powerful oak that comes along with it. And I, I think oak is just a wonderful component to wine, but it should not overpower it. The fruit should always be the main actor. Only in the classical great vintages do you get this cassis-like component, this concentrated blackberry that begins and ends in an eternity. It just seems to go on and on in your mouth and the flavor profile just goes, it really establishes a memory that just doesn't end when you have that last sip of the wine. It continues on to wake you, you wake up the next morning and you're still tasting that concentrated blackberry deceased character. That's what I think defines the 2009. The minute you open up that bottle of Jordan Cabernet, you release the cork, you're almost releasing a, 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 like a person themselves been holding its breath for so long all of a sudden it becomes the life. And that's exactly how we like to think of the consumer enjoying our wine, is it's, it enhances their life. First you swirl it around, smell it and taste it, and then you try it with the food, and you'll see about 100 more things coming out of that wine that, that you didn't, that weren't expressed before on its own. That's what we call gastronomy, that's what we call the, the fun of the, sitting down at the end of the day and enjoying a good meal.